Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Dicker once again, and I thought just once I'd start a Dreamcast Let's Play at the Dreamcast dashboard, if that's what you want to call it. But hi, what could this be? Oh, why am I doing this? You always read the title. Let's just get on with it. Okay, that's it. But I have been wanting to do this for... This is another one of these ones I've been wanting to do for years, literally, by this point. Why is Eidos on this uh, game, by the way? I don't know why. Hmm. Oh well. Who cares? Let's just get on with the game. I am Alexia, yeah, this is probably the only Resi game you'll see me let's play. Like, I know I just uh, did that co op LP with uh, Tez. But uh, as far as uh, solo LPs go, this is the only Resi game I will let's play, because I love it so much. You're probably all thinking, Aki only loves it because it's on the Dreamcast. Well, it's more along the lines of, this is one of the games that made me love the Dreamcast so much. Resident Evil. Code Veronica. Played the shit out of it. But I, Right, time for story. Or what we can laughably call story, considering the standards of the Resident Evil series. The American Midwestern town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. So they didn't really share their, their umbrella refuge. with Raccoon we City. And a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. Oh fuck, I'm getting goosebumps. Why am I getting goosebumps? <laughs> I love this game. Three months later. Identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Lassie Basha. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility ten days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. So yeah, this is going to be the first in many little stupid nitpicks that's going to piss off one of the Resident Evil fans, but why is Chris in a friggin' like, umbrella factory, and why the hell... And how the hell... Claire's 19 years old, how the hell could she get in there? And she still looks like a biker chick. It makes no sense! I mean, I know she survived the zombie apocalypse, but come on. Okay, that is impossible and not impressive at the same time, Claire. I'm just saying. Don't move. And you will know my name is the Lord when I say... No, I'm just... I uh, watched Pulp Fiction for the first time. Uh, just a while ago. Yeah, it was an awesome film.
Oh dear. Best whip out the harmonica, Claire. It was awfully nice of them that they let her keep her biker gear on her. Okay, see, this is scary. Take notes, Capcom. Well, you made this game still, I know, but... If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. Mm -hmm, how convenient, we have a lighter. This prison's been taken over. Troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Okay then, let's go. Right, what do we have down here? Hemostatic medicine. It's empty. Hmm. Okay, we will take these hand gun bullets. Uh, if we go back into the cell here, yep. Green herb. And look, it actually looks like a green herb. Not some friggin' tube. Uh, okay, some other stuff in here, is there not? Right, there's a little thingy there for Claire, and... Yeah, one thing you'll all know, by the way, is that Resident Evil Code Veronica is the only Resi game that has a really good knife, you know? Uh, is there something else here? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, the knife... The last three games on the PS1, the knife was always absolutely terrible. Right. Right, I'm actually going to try saving right now, because uh, I don't know if I've got enough space on my memory card. That's important. That's catchy, don't you think? The friggin' typing is. Right. Now, once again, I'll elaborate how I, uh... I played the absolute shit out of this when I was a kid. When I was younger, I couldn't play... I think I elaborated on this when I was playing Project Zero, but when I was younger, I couldn't play uh, survival horrors. They used to scare me too much. But this game, Resident Evil Code Veronica, my, uh, my stepsister's gran, I remember, for Christmas, gave me a demo of this game, and she thought it was the full game, but obviously it wasn't. It was just a demo. And I used to say to myself, right, I'm going to play this demo, and I'm not going to be scared. And sure enough, I did. And then... I played the demo quite a lot, you know, and maybe, maybe even like, quite some time later, I remember uh, after the Dreamcast had died, I found a copy of the game in a, a game shop, you know, and I was very, very happy, because I could finally play the whole game and I played it to death. And oh my god! That's important. That's how a zombie should look like. And Claire, you have no right to be scared, alright? Are you really surprised? 